Do you ever stop and wonder how your favorite McDonald's foods are really made? Have you asked yourself what goes into creating a chicken McNugget, a crispy french fry, or that fizzy Coca-Cola you sip alongside? Most people don't think twice. We unwrap the meal, take a bite, and enjoy. But behind each crispy nugget, golden fry, and refreshing drink lies a fascinating world of technology, precision, and yes, a few surprises. Today, Discovery 4K takes you on an exciting behind-the-scenes adventure to uncover the real processes behind these iconic fast food items. What we reveal may surprise you. Hit that like button and subscribe to Discovery 4K for more eye-opening food journeys. Have you ever taken a bite of a chicken McNugget and wondered, what's really inside this little crispy piece? Is it just chicken, or is there more going on behind the scenes? Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating journey of how McDonald's Chicken McNuggets are made, and you might be surprised by what we discover. Let's start at the very beginning. McNuggets come from specially bred broiler chickens raised on farms across North America. These chickens are selected because they grow quickly, reaching market weight in just six to eight weeks. Once they arrive at the processing plant, not every part of the chicken is used. Contrary to old myths, McDonald's does not use beaks, claws, or bones. Instead, they primarily select boneless, skinless chicken breast meat, the most tender, consistent, and flavorful part of the chicken. But why the breast? Chicken breast has a mild, slightly sweet taste, a soft texture, and it holds up well through the processing steps. And while past versions of McNuggets long ago included mechanically separated meat, McDonald's phased that out more than a decade ago after public concerns. Today, only the high-quality white meat is used, along with a small amount of chicken skin. That bit of skin is important because it helps retain juiciness, making sure the final nugget doesn't turn out dry or rubbery. Once the chicken is deboned and cleaned, it moves on to the grinding stage. The chicken breast is ground into a smooth, uniform paste, but ground chicken alone wouldn't create the famous McNugget taste. That's where the seasoning comes in. McDonald's uses a secret blend of salt, spices, natural flavors, and leavening agents to give the nuggets their signature taste. These ingredients are mixed in carefully, ensuring every bite tastes just right. Next comes the shaping process. One of the most fun and unique parts of making McNuggets. Have you ever noticed that McNuggets come in four distinct shapes? There's the ball, the bell, the boot, and the bow tie. These aren't random or just for fun. They're designed for uniform cooking and visual appeal. The ball is round and easy to dip. The bell has a wide bottom and narrow top. The boot offers a sturdy handle, and the bow tie is flat with little curves on the edges. Industrial machines shape the ground, seasoned chicken into these precise forms, producing millions of nuggets every day at incredible speeds. After shaping, the nuggets are ready for coating. First, they're dipped in a thin batter that helps the breading stick. Then comes the real magic. The nuggets are rolled in a carefully blended mixture of flour, cornmeal, and leavening agents, which will puff up slightly during frying to create that perfect crispy shell. But here's a surprising fact. The nuggets aren't fully cooked at the factory. They go through a process called par-frying, which means they're only partially fried. This step sets the batter and starts the browning process, but it doesn't cook the chicken all the way through. After par-frying, the nuggets are flash-frozen to lock in freshness. This rapid freezing process keeps them stable during shipping and storage ensuring that when they arrive at McDonald's restaurants around the world, they're ready for the final step, the final fry. At the restaurant, the nuggets are deep fried to crispy perfection and served hot, fresh, and golden. Every McNugget you eat goes through this exacting journey, from farm to processing plant to restaurant. Behind that small crunchy bite is a world of precision, science, and careful design, all working together to create one of the most beloved fast food items in the world. So, the next time you dip a nugget into your favorite sauce, remember, there's more to that little piece of chicken than meets the eye. It's not just food, it's the result of decades of innovation, attention to detail, and a quest to deliver the perfect bite every single time.
What's a McDonald's meal without french fries? Crispy, golden, salty, they're the perfect sidekick to a burger or nuggets. But have you ever wondered what goes into making those long, perfect fries? It's not as simple as just slicing potatoes and frying them. In fact, the journey from farm to fryer is surprisingly detailed and carefully controlled. It all starts in the potato fields of North America, where farmers grow special varieties just for McDonald's. These aren't just any potatoes, they're mainly Russet Burbank, Ranger Russet, Umatilla Russet, and Shepardi. Why these types? Because they're long, low in sugar, and low in moisture, which means they fry up beautifully crispy, without burning or soaking up too much oil. In early spring, potato seeds are planted, and for months farmers tend their crops, watching for the perfect moment to harvest. When it's time, giant harvesting machines sweep through the fields, lifting the potatoes carefully from the ground. The goal is to avoid bruising or damaging the skins, which can affect the final product's quality. Once harvested, the potatoes are rushed to processing plants. The first step, a powerful high-pressure wash that blasts away any remaining dirt. Next, they're fed into automatic peelers that quickly remove the tough outer skins, revealing the smooth white flesh underneath. Then comes the precision cutting stage. Industrial slicers transform each potato into long, uniform strips, ensuring that every fry is almost exactly the same size and shape. This might seem like overkill, but consistency is key. It ensures that when the fries are cooked, they all brown evenly and cook at the same rate. But here's something you might not expect. Before the fries ever see a fryer, they go through blanching. A quick bath in hot water. Why? Blanching reduces natural sugars and helps lock in the fry's soft, fluffy interior. Without this step, the fries might end up too dark or too limp. After blanching, the fries are thoroughly dried and then par-fried. Lightly fried in vegetable oil, often enhanced with natural beef flavoring in some countries like the US. This par-frying sets the exterior and gives the fries a head start for the final cook at the restaurant. Once fried, they're flash frozen to preserve freshness and texture during shipping. When the fries arrive at McDonald's restaurants, they're stored frozen until needed. Then, right before serving, they're dropped into hot oil, fried until perfectly golden, and seasoned with just the right amount of salt. The result? A hot, crispy fry that's soft on the inside, crispy on the outside, and instantly recognizable anywhere in the world. It's no wonder McDonald's sells over 9 million pounds of fries every day. That little red carton holds more than just fried potatoes. It's the result of decades of careful refinement, engineering, and culinary science, all working together to deliver that perfect crunch. So the next time you grab a handful of McDonald's fries, remember, you're tasting the end of a journey that started months earlier in the potato fields and traveled through one of the most sophisticated fast food production systems in the world. Now, let's shift our attention from crispy food to one of the world's most iconic drinks, Coca-Cola. There's something unmistakable about the moment you open a bottle or can that soft hiss, the tiny fizzing bubbles, the sharp sweetness on your tongue. But how exactly is Coca-Cola made? And what makes it taste the same, no matter where you are in the world? It all begins, surprisingly, with water. But not just any tap water. Coca-Cola uses a rigorous water purification process to ensure that every drop used in production meets exacting standards. The water is passed through massive filtration systems that remove any impurities, minerals, or off flavors. Why is this so important? Because water makes up the majority of the drink, and to maintain a consistent taste across countries and continents, the water must start from a perfectly clean, controlled base. Once the water is ready, it's time to create the famous Coca-Cola syrup. This thick sweet liquid is made from a mixture of sugar or high fructose corn syrup depending on the country, caramel color, phosphoric acid, caffeine, and natural flavors. But here's the part that really sparks curiosity. The legendary 7x flavor formula. This top secret blend of essential oils and flavorings is known by only a handful of people on earth. It's carefully guarded, stored in secure vaults, and protected by strict confidentiality agreements. 
This formula is what gives Coca-Cola its distinctive, unforgettable taste. The exact balance of citrus, vanilla, spice, and other mysterious notes that no other drink can replicate. With the syrup ready, the next step is blending it with carbonated water. Carbon dioxide gas is pumped into the liquid under carefully controlled pressure, creating the tiny bubbles that bring Coke to life. Getting the carbonation level just right is crucial. Too little, and the drink falls flat. Too much, and the bottle might burst, or the taste might feel harsh on the tongue. Once mixed, the finished Coca-Cola is piped into ultra-fast bottling machines. These machines fill thousands of bottles or cans every minute, capping and sealing them instantly to preserve freshness and fizziness. But the process doesn't stop there. Each product goes through a series of quality checks. Smart sensors measure the exact fill level, cap tightness, label alignment, and carbonation. Any product that doesn't meet the strict standards is automatically removed from the line. Finally, the bottles and cans are grouped onto pallets by robotic arms, securely wrapped and loaded for distribution. Whether the destination is a corner store in New York, a restaurant in Tokyo, or a supermarket in Sao Paulo, Coca-Cola's global logistics network ensures that every can and bottle arrives fresh and ready to enjoy. Did you know Coca-Cola sells over 1.9 billion servings every single day? That's enough to circle the earth with bottles, and then some. But beyond the numbers, each sip of Coca-Cola connects you to a tradition that's over a century old, blending cutting-edge production with one of the most closely guarded recipes in the world. So the next time you crack open a Coke, remember, you're not just drinking a soda, you're tasting a legacy of precision, secrecy, and innovation. A drink that has journeyed from purified water, to secret formula, to bubbling, refreshing perfection. While the taste and production of McDonald's Chicken McNuggets, French Fries, and Coca-Cola are fascinating, there's another side to the story, one that's becoming more important every year. Environmental responsibility and health impact. Both McDonald's and Coca-Cola are under increasing global pressure to reduce their carbon footprints and operate more sustainably. McDonald's has pledged to cut greenhouse gas emissions by over 50% by 2030, investing in renewable energy, eco-friendly packaging, and sustainable farming practices. Coca-Cola, meanwhile, is focusing on reducing water use, increasing energy efficiency in its bottling plants, and aiming for 35-40% to recycled content in its plastic bottles by 2035. But environmental efforts aren't the only challenge. Health experts remind us that while nuggets, fries, and sugary sodas are enjoyable, they're best consumed in moderation. These foods are often high in fat, salt, sugar, and calories, factors linked to rising global rates of obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. No single meal is inherently bad, but balance is key. The good news? The future of fast food is evolving. Companies are investing in plant-based products, air-fried or baked options, reduced sugar drinks, and transparent ingredient sourcing. Consumers today are more aware, asking for healthier, more sustainable choices, and the industry is responding. So, the next time you enjoy your McDonald's meal with a Coca-Cola on the side, remember, you're participating in a food system that's shifting and changing, one that blends the past, the present, and the future on every tray and in every cup. Thank you for joining Discovery 4K on this adventure. If you enjoyed exploring the hidden world behind everyday favorites, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, stay curious, stay thoughtful, and keep discovering the world around you.